One of the areas where Rio technology is used happens to be one of the tougher engineering challenges we face, and that's with our energy system. How do we keep up with the increasing global demand for energy while also reducing its environmental impact? And here to talk about a couple of those technologies, particularly around the smart grid and renewable energy, I'd like to welcome Principal Product Manager Brian McCleary. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Hey, very good. All right. Let's start with the smart grid. Tell everyone about the smart grid. Sure. The smart grid is going to revolutionize our energy system the way the internet revolutionized business. The main difference between the smart grid and a dumb grid is the sensors. In the dumb grid, the operators only know that there's a problem when you pick up the phone and call. And to uh, explain what I mean, let's take a look at our uh, little uh, simulated uh, village over here. Yep. So currently, we're operating in dumb grid mode. The Department of Energy estimates that unplanned outages on our power grid cost the U.S. economy over $150 billion a year. So to show what I mean, if you would, uh, play the role of a force of nature for me there, Eric, and uh, generate a fault on our grid. I get to be a force of nature. OK, I'm pushing the tree button. A tree fell on the line, as you can hear. <laughs> and we lost power to like half the city. Yeah, uh, we got a real problem here. Um, all the lights are out for these houses. Um, our reclosure has tripped off the power, so we're not going to you know, have a fire on the, on the lines. But we're going to have to wait for somebody to call this in, the utility to find and locate the problem. You get the idea. It's going to take a while to fix this. OK, I see what you call it, the dumb grid. That's right. So what makes the uh, smart grid smart? Well, if you would, uh, go ahead and switch our city here to uh, smart grid mode. <laughs> nice touch. Welcome to uh, Smartville. <laughs> OK, generate another fault here, right? Yeah, give me a fault. <clears throat> You know, same tree, same line. That's right. <clears throat> so as you can see now in the smart grid, um, our smart switched devices have actually rerouted power from the second substation here to all the customers that um, can receive it. You see there's a small section of the grid that the, the power is still out, but we've been able to restore power to most of the customers. That's cool. And this is, this is really enabled by these Compact Rio smart switching devices that are able to monitor the power, detect the problem, and actually the utility is going to be able to fix it faster because it's already send us a command or a signal to the utility identifying the problem and telling them where to, where to go to fix it. OK, gotcha. Now, Ben, I noticed when I walked onto the stage, there's a huge piece of uh, electrical power equipment down there. Tell everyone about that. Sure. That's a, it's a smart switch device developed by Siemens in collaboration with National Instruments and Centerpoint Energy, the third largest energy utility in the US. Um, essentially, what it does is it monitors the flow of power on a pole. And if there's a problem, it'll alert the utility so they can shut down the power. Uh, and in the heart of that smart switch, though, we have a compact Rio that's monitoring the flow of three-phase AC power. It's controlling the vacuum breaker that can shut off the 13.8 kilovolts. And it's streaming that back to the utility over a redundant wireless grid. And actually, in the future, uh, when there's a fault, it'll be able to adduce, use some adaptive pattern matching and figure out what that fault is and actually tell the utility more information. 